Bist du? Wie bist du? Ich flieh. In America, people speak English, right? Well, not if you go to Holmes County, Ohio, where despite having been in this country for centuries, hundreds of thousands of Mennonite and Amish people, the more conservative of whom are famous for rejecting many aspects of modern life, including cars and electricity, speak as their first language a dialect of German known as Pennsylvania Dutch. This language is actually surprisingly similar to my own ancestral Jewish language of Yiddish, so I didn't find it too hard to learn, and I was really excited to go and practice both with Josh's family, whom you may have seen in Peter Santanello's videos, and also with Total Strangers, which you can see in the second half of this video. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Welcome, welcome to Ohio. Thank you. So Amish, excited to be Amish here. <laughs> um, Kennedy Amish father. Kennedy Amish, your father? <laughs> your father. <laughs> uh, Sam? Yeah, Sim, Simul Amish Kennedy. Sam Amish Kennedy. Ust, Ustgal? Yeah. Ustgal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All it are. Wow. Net, 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 uh, net English? Uh-uh. Wow. Sie, sie, sie schwätze English in the school. Oh, sie schwätze English in the school. Okay. Oh, and schwätze Dutch. Schwätze Dutch in the home. Yeah. Like, growing up, that, that's my first language. So yeah. I have a, I, I, people tell me I have an accent when I right. talk, so, I mean, we all do this. <laughs> Amish have been in America like, for, what, hundreds of years, yeah. right? I'm not sure how we don't lose it or what, but it's our first language. Like, I think in Dutch, and it's... It's just a known thing, like we speak Dutch. Dutch Essen House. So we're getting into yeah. this Dutch Essen House. It's Amish country here. Getting close. That's so cool. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's an Amish school oh, right there. Got the outhouses back there. Wow, outhouses. Oh yeah. Because they can't have uh, not the, toilets. Not in the schoolhouse. You're going to come in and you're going to make yourself at home. Hey, yeah. we wish to, we wish to. Yeah. Look at this, in person, in Ohio. In person. Yeah, S is, S is my, um, Ashrai to Ohio? Yeah. Ashran to yeah, Ohio? Ashran to Ohio. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, it turns out the family had actually sponsored several Haitian refugees fleeing the terrible conditions in Haiti to come live in their home. You, you just got here like two months ago, from what I heard? Yeah. So, prior to that, I was living in Indonesia. Oh, okay, okay. We were in Ohio. We in Ohio. Okay, yeah. Mapa Pan, Mapa Pan. See Dutch for Lana all? Frasas. Pigs press. And people and people eat. I don't know if you if you were thinking about what to expect when you came. It's weird. The culture at first. But it's fun. When you start to get to know them, they work hard. They have their own values, their own things, and they stick to it. Jude? Yes. Kijan Rele. Good. You yeah. know this one already. Yonti Kakio. Yonti Kakio. He knows a little bit. Um, we're, 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 no, no, no. I told Lindy. Yeah, ich will zu Lindy will get. No, yeah. Yeah, ich will. Yeah, ich glaube. Ich glaube die Amish in New York. Yeah, you bit. You bit to Lindy. Oh, yeah. Then it was time for dinner, but first. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we come before you tonight with thanksgiving. We thank you for the day that you gave to us. Thank you for the food that is before us. Help us use the strength we receive from it to bring honor and glory to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wow. wow. This is Amish This is Amish Some mashed potatoes. Wow. This looks so good. This is so good. It is. The mashed potatoes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the mush. This is a typical Amish wedding food. Grumbad and mush and hingle place. Yeah. It's out. There we go. I do have something. I want to share with you guys. But first, real quick, before we get back to the video, just wanted to thank ExpressVPN for sponsoring it. So I've actually been a customer of ExpressVPN for a while now, even before they started sponsoring my videos. And the reason for that is basically just that ExpressVPN allows you to get around government censorship in different countries around the world where they can censor websites that you or I might use on a daily basis. But a VPN is so much more useful than as just a way to get around censorship by your government, school, or employer, even though it is very useful for that. Think of it as a secure tunnel between your computer or 
device and the wider internet, making sure that whatever you do online stays private and anonymous. And you might not know this, but incognito mode in your browser does not actually prevent your government, internet service provider, school, or employer from seeing what you do on the internet. It only makes it so that your browser does not store that information locally. And logging that information is something that big companies can do in many countries, including the US. So if you want to actually be private and anonymous online, you need ExpressVPN. And beyond even just privacy, ExpressVPN can also help keep you safe on the internet. So for example, if you're using public Wi-Fi at libraries, coffee shops, or airports, etc., the FTC recommends using VPNs for extra security, especially if you're transmitting a lot of sensitive data. So make sure to go to expressvpn.com slash NYC and find out how you can get an extra three months free, and you're gonna love it. Without further ado, it's back to the video, let's go. Anyway, I was visiting Josh's family the week of Easter and Jesus' Last Supper, which this year also happened to be the Jewish Passover. Jesus' Last Supper, which involves him eating at a Passover Seder, unleavened bread. So I brought you some handmade matzah, matzah. from New York. Bread. Unleavened bread, yes, this is the uh, uh, Jewish matzah. matzah. This is what, what uh, Jesus would have eaten wow. on the Last Supper. And here it is. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah, I brought this all the way from New York, and it, it miraculously, it has not cracked. So <laughs> I think you might, uh, you might like it. Oh yeah. my. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's it's uh, handmade. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That is very special. So when the Bible like says he breaks yeah. the bread. Yeah. Yeah. That's the bread that he broke. Just guns on. Just guns on. No wonder they had to. But that's also where the, the Eucharist uh, comes from. Because why is the Eucharist a cracker rather than leavened bread? It's because it's because this was the this was the bread at the Last Supper. I would take over the ice cream. You would take you would take that over the ice cream. <laughs> For me, at least, one of the most interesting and beautiful things that I've learned is how close knit the the community is here. Like, for example, you don't have health insurance, right? No. no. We have our right. own. We it's pay like communal in. health insurance. Yeah, exactly. it is. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And then if someone right. has a big bill, then the community pays it. If a house burns down, they get assessed. Mm -hmm. Even other states. Yeah. Man, our communities, mm -hmm. other communities in other states, they help mm -hmm. with stuff like that. So if there's, if there's a health problem, the church will help. Yeah. Uh, if there's a oh, there's yeah. a problem with so, the house. Yeah. So, for example, Ola's parents came here <laughs> from yeah. Ukraine. They had no place to live. And, uh... They were looking for a house, and our church gave them. So they bought a house for a hundred thousand. Our church paid fifty thousand of it, and another church paid fifty. Wow. That type of insurance is sort of better than the public. Yeah. Than the rest. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's mind blowing. What do you What do you think What do you think the biggest misconception that people have about Amish or Mennonites is? Maybe they put us all. All, all in the under same. one in one category. Like lots of people here don't drive or their houses don't have electricity. Amish, yeah. And they don't have no toilets either, apparently, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess your point is that there's there's different there's different levels of yes. like, yeah. vast right. so mm -hmm. many. Like in your world you have you have yeah. conservatives and liberals. Totally. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. A yeah. Huge spectrum. Sure. It's the same with Amish. When we were just getting to know our neighbors, yeah. they would sell they sell eggs, they sell mm -hmm. they have a bakery up there, and they would say, Have you ever been Amish? Have you left did you leave the Amish? And they would not sell to you. If Whoa. you have been part of an Amish church. Are there, are there a lot of people who leave the Amish church? Or churches? Yeah, there are. Yeah. Some. Some. Yeah. 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 Right. There's, there's there are, but a lot of them don't. Right. Most right. of them hear right. a lot of the values they have, but they want a car. And you cannot be yeah. Amish with a car. Right. That must be such an interesting culture shock. You come to America, and then on top of that, you're in like yeah. Amish country. It's like, you're like, what? What is it? This is not like the America that I saw in the brochure. Exactly. This is very different. I was thinking Hollywood sign, yeah. Statue yeah. of Liberty, Times Square, skyscrapers, right? Buggy. Horse and buggy. <laughs> right. When we when we think about America, it's yeah. all nice and fancy. Right. And we show up here and then... by choice. By choice. By choice. Not that they don't have money. They just horse, choose. The horse sure. and buggy is yeah. really expensive to get. It's not as though people here are poor. No. It's, you know, it's no. for it's, sure not. All my brothers and sisters, they're army. They're totally Amish, but they make their own electricity. And they're allowed to have electricity if, if they, they make, make their own. Via like solar panels? Packs. They can't tie into the main grid, but they can, no. they can big solar panels to keep their batteries charged. Huge battery packs I, in the basement. I know, I know some that traps in the line. <laughs> You do? Oh, really? oh boy, does this no, bishop help? No? Don't get them in trouble. <laughs> so you can use electricity as long as it's 
and that's self-generated. That, that's yes. for a certain type of Amish, like the right. conservative yeah. Amish can. No, no electricity at all. No, yeah. no, no, no. These yeah. out here don't at all. No. And all we have here. a small phone shanty down here. What is that? Phone shack. Booth. Phone booth. And all the Amish neighbors come here what? to, to use, use the that phone because they don't have it. Like a landline. Uh, Wait, so they could use the phone, they just yeah. can't have one. Yes. yes. Oh. They, they will come with their buggies. And it's, not the smart, it's not a loophole. It's not smart. That's <laughs> a smart phone. Right. Well, well, actually, so this does remind me, let me tell you though, because in Judaism, in the most religious uh, Jews, you can't use electricity on the Sabbath, including turning on the lights. Oh, wow. So, but, 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 but there is a loophole. <laughs> Even the most religious, what they can do is they could ask a non-Jew to turn on for them, but, 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 except, except that, that you can't directly ask. You can't, 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 you can't say, yes, exactly, you can't say, could you please turn the light up for me, you have to say, Oh, it's getting really dark in here. <laughs> I wonder what is to be done. I'm serious. It's a legal classification Jewish law. It's called the Shabbos Goy. And you can, and as long as you hint in an indirect way, you can, it can be done. And that includes also, you could have a timer. You could, you could set a timer that says this timer is going to turn the light on. And you could set it and that will turn it on. And then that's okay. <laughs> as long as you don't, as do, long as you don't do it directly, wow. right. So there's all these loopholes that, that you know, very conservative yeah. people will use. You were telling me you had a business, right? Yes. Jude runs a web design and digital marketing agency called Zion Thrive. It is hard at work in building his new life here in America. So if you're in the market for his services, definitely check out his website. Right. This was one okay. of the biggest culture shock for me when I met what? Americans. What? Or guns. That's for hunting. Woo! That's, that's an arsenal to, 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 to take down Fort Knox with. <laughs> so what do you hunt, deer? Deer, yeah. And then you eat the meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then Josh showed me the multiple businesses right on his family's own property, including an enormous chicken nursery, sawdust storage, and a truck hanger. I guess I didn't expect to see something like of this scale. You know, I see. I, I just, really? Yeah. Because there's... I just had no idea, but I was like, I if, don't know. If you go out into the community, there's many, many businesses that are much bigger than this. Bigger. For a lot of people, you know, myself included before coming here, like when you think of Mennonites or Amish, if mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't necessarily associate that with like such an enormous business. Well, like, you know? in general, most of the Amish and Mennonites work really hard. Yeah. And well, if you're going to work really hard and put in hours and whatever, then you're going to end up with something up with like this. Kids. Right. Yeah. The kids here, we go to school till eighth grade. The mom probably told you that. Right. And then they go out and work instead yeah. of going to college. So, well, so you don't even you don't even go to high school. Mm -hmm. Right. Just I about. mean, some do. Yeah. yeah. Some do. Some do. But generally speaking, no. And yet, right, you know, that's what I'm, that's like, what I'm trying right. to convey here. Right. Because see, if I'm, if I'm 14 after eighth grade, yeah. I go with my dad with whatever occupation he's doing, or he'll send me to a, a work crew somewhere. I work from 14 till 21. I've learned a trade. Right. Like I've Hands literally, on. literally right. learned it, right. which is the same thing that someone goes to college for. Yeah. Somehow for not going to high school, you guys are able to do everything. Like it kind of makes you question the value of a public I mean, school education <laughs> but, okay, was the... but there is there there is value in, there is. in sure. going to like yeah. there is value in going to college and being a doctor right and being it, depends, a it depends on what you want to do yeah and how often do yeah. people go to college and get out of college and realize oh that's not what i want to do after all and they're right. in debt Another and you have thing. to work for years in a profession yeah. you don't even like to pay off this debt that you didn't even need to in this case in our case in the first place you're learning a business and you're not in debt after you learned the business after yeah. you learned the trade that's another big thing but then, and you went to school in, in, an, in an Amish school. Yeah, like, oh, Mennonite. Mennonite, Mennonite, Mennonite yeah. school, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like a private school. Most, private school. most, most of people the, do. Yeah, most of the churches around here have their own school, like a church school. Everyone who goes to this church goes to this school. And do you, do you pay fees for that, or is mm -hmm. that part of the church membership? It's, or... uh, there's a tuition. <clears throat> right. Like, we have to pay our teachers, but our teachers are also from church and from local. And we have our own yeah. curriculum. You know, all right. of that stuff. And then, uh, yeah, there's a tuition. And yeah, if the church has a school that's funded through the church, like people who go to church, they're paying for it. And it's normally a reasonable tuition. Yeah, you know, it's, it's very reasonable. And it's a... Uh... I love how picturesque this view is. You know, you just right. got like Windows XP yeah. desktop yeah. background, you know, right. rolling green right. hills. <laughs> Mennonites don't have TV. Oh. So you grew up no TV, no... no. Do you no. have phones? No. Well, so, okay. Yeah, I have a phone now, but right. like our kids don't have phones. Mm, and maybe yeah. once they start driving a car when they're going out by themselves, they'll get a phone. They're not they're not sitting in the house watching TV or playing video games. They're outside and see what our kids right. are doing. That's how you learn things.
and everybody's speaking Dutch. As soon as the others get here from my group, I'm gonna go. So we're gonna go have practice, song sure. practice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So next morning at my hotel, the staff were very curious what a vlogger from New York was doing in Ohio. I'm going to the horse auction today, and uh, it should be cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So Martha, speak Dutch to him. Okay. Uh, ich bin gut, ich bin gut. Wie bist du? Wie bist du? Yeah, ich bin, ich bin New York. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, ich bin New York. Ich bin English later, but. <laughs> yeah. It's a Shane Shane, Shane Vera? Shane Vera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> then Josh picked me up from the hotel, but before going to the Amish horse auction, we stopped off at an Amish hardware store. He's from New York City and he never saw any Amish before. Uh, first, time. first time, first time, yeah. yeah. We're gonna go, we're gonna go out to the... Gal, Gal Koffer. Yeah. Gal Koffer. Gal Koffer. Ich will, ich will ein Gal, Gal Gross, Gross Gal Koffer. Yeah. To New York. <laughs> I feel far, far to New York. I have not for not shunt in in Gal. You might have a surprise once you start off. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> Gal is a uh, Dial. 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 Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they're Biffle. 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 Oh, you could charge ten thousand. I must have a buggy car. Yeah. Another eight. It's made made uh, made die uh, as as in car, mm -hmm. made yeah, die as car. Or, I don't know. Ich 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 uh, ich weiß net. Ich weiß ich, ich weiß net for the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Yeah. She's net. She's net. She's net. Uh, girl in New York. She's net girl in New York City. No. No. Only cars. Yeah. Only cars. How long are you Uh, one one Ustein Dag. Okay, Ustein Dag, yeah. Well, here, here, ich will, um, ich will to New York, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. did you drive so down, or? No, uh, ich, um, in, uh, Floa. Flea? Flea? Flea. 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 Flea, yeah. Yeah, ich flea. Okay. Ich gleich Dutch I don't know. Yeah. That's is good, that's is good. Yeah. Yeah, that's is really, uh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I saw you have a big a big book over there. Yeah, they actually still update all their products, like all these products in here. Yeah. Are in that, are in that book. Right. They actually send us updated pages. It wow. Is, it's really. And you put it in. Yeah, it's really <laughs> amazing that they actually still do that. It looks like a 13th century Gutenberg Bible. <laughs> right. It's, uh, it's not. Yeah. It's got prices, big ones. <laughs> so you don't have any computers. No. Hmm. Wow. Well, like this is only the store part of their business. There, <clears throat> all those buildings over there, they make lumber. Right, lumber right. Yards. So, how long have you been learning Dutch? Um, zwei Woche, na drei Woche. Wow. Yeah. Schaff net zu hard. Schaff net zu hard. I like, I like, I like. It's an Amish guy telling me that. Like. Whoa, this is the ga this is the gal action. Thank you. Take a look.
There's also a flea market right next to the horse auction with live music. That's so funny. I know. Yeah, well, I just wanted to bring him to yeah. Amish country. Absolutely. So. That's great. Yeah. Man. yeah. So nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Ari. 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 The head stoop. Jonai. Jonai. Jonai? Jonai, yeah. Jonai, yeah. wow, that's an interesting name. Eh? Yeah, yeah, Bissell. Wow, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, with, uh, with Josh Simon. <laughs> that's dumb. It's really glacial Amish, Amish culture, Amish Asa. Yeah. yeah. You know, his mom makes great uh, mush. Oh, yeah. Mush is awesome, yeah, man. Mush is out. They call this Amish on a barely. Uh, barely. There's a scene I want to tower speed. I see, I see. To be liberal, I'm mean. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this is the way I look at it. Christianity has nothing to do with, with the lifestyle. Well, not say the lifestyle, but being Amish is not my religion. So therefore, yeah. I don't feel it necessary to be that concerned. I can still live for Christ and not, you know, yeah. have that. No, I feel I feel the, I feel the same way. Like I'm Jewish, and I you know, you. I don't, I don't. It's for me, it's part of. It's like the culture, and like, you know, I think perhaps the religion, culturally, it's important, but you know, it's like I don't follow every precept, you know, to the letter. So I totally understand that. Then to really test out my Dutch, we went to a local Amish market. Wow. Hi. How are you? Hi. I have, I have my friend here from New York City. I wanna, yeah. Oh wow. Do they do they make this the soap too? Uh, yeah. Wow, look at that. This will cost in in safe. This will cost in safe. This will cost in safe. Five fifty. Five fifty. Can you okay. talk Dutch? In Bissel, in Bissel, yeah, yeah. Ich dat falana. Ich dat. Ich dat falana mit 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 friend se se ma. Okay. Yeah. Good. It's the real, the real oil. Well, maybe. Vielleicht brauchst du ein Kochbuch. Vielleicht du kochen? Vielleicht du kochen, ja. Kochen, ja. Ja, ich gleich kochen. Weil ich, 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 uh, ich, weiß, ich weiß nicht kochen. <lacht> ich, ich weiß nicht kochen, aber mit, aber mit Frau, okay. mit Frau kennen. Ich kenne Frau, aber oh. ich bin... Ja, ich habe gerade Amish Sachen. Es ist gut. <lacht> Sie hat auch die Appetizers, Sie und, die Appetizers Drinks, und die Drinks. Die Appetizers und die Drinks. Die Salats und die Soups. Und All right, I'll, I'll take it. Huh? Du brauchst kochen. Du musst lernen kochen. Ich, ich muss, ich muss mit dem Kochbuch von Falana. Mein Mann tut kochen. Oh, der Mann, der Mann, der kochen. Ah, there yeah. we go. Cool. Yeah. Wie lange tust du hinsehen? Um, uh, ein Tag. Ein Tag. Ein Tag, ein Tag. Ich will, ich fleisch, ich fleh. Ich flieh. Ich flieh. Ich flieh. Ja, ich flieh. Ich flieh. Ja, ja, ich flieh. Ich... Then, like a total idiot, I managed to do this. Okay. Fortunately, the owners were a lot nicer about it than I probably would have been. It's not your fault. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. No, I'm happy to pay for it. No, that's not the way oh, we boy. operate around here. How anyway. many was that? Three or three or four? You're not paying for it. Absolutely okay. not. I felt really bad about it though, so I did end up getting some more stuff from them. What did you buy? Well, I shop. I shop safe. I shop safe. I shop safe. I shop half a safe. Und in uh, Buch, Buch for Kuba. <laughs> Why do you have on a camera? I'm a YouTuber. What's your channel? Yeah, Shama NYC. So you have Jens Elden Gewatched. Do you have some videos, Tenna? Anne. No way. Anne. Anne? Really? This is the one that I yeah, watched. Yeah. This one. Probably. You saw that one? No way. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do kennel. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have Anne Kind. Ich habe ein Kind, es ist ein, es ist ein Bub, uh, ein, 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 ein Jahr, ein Jahr, ja, ein Jahr, ein Jahr, ein Jahr, ein Jahr. I got some good Amish gifts to take back to the Big Apple. If people want to check out your channel, where should they, where should they go? Uh, Miller Time Music. And you got, you got music there? Yeah, just uh, gospel, a cappella, four part harmony. Yep. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, make sure to subscribe, guys. And see you next time.